Good morning world. That is what it's looking like outside today. Story is doing some colorings, are you? Yeah. Yeah? You tired? Yeah. Oh dear. Okay, maybe a little nap later for you then. Oh. It is a bit of a spring cleaning day in the house for me today. I'm just doing some sorting out, some cleaning, cleaning the bathroom, hoovering, cleaning the kitchen, packing stuff away, all that kind of stuff. And Jay is on a bit of a mission today, aren't you? Yeah, we need to find out how to get to Eden when she arrives because the boats aren't displayed it's online. So I'm going to have to go to Dapa and see if I can book a boat personally. So Eden, our dog, is actually flying to us today. She is leaving London today. And so we are a little bit nervous. We're a little bit anxious about it. We're trying to keep our minds extra busy so we're not worrying too much. I'm sure everything is going to go to plan and everything's going to be absolutely fine. But of course, being human, <laughs> we always just think way too much, right? So we're just trying to keep calm and just hope that things will go smoothly because there's actually nothing that we can do about it. She hasn't left yet, has she, Jay? No, We've got yet. a few hours until yeah. she's actually flying. The check-in process for a dog is like four and a half hours, so <laughs> you know, it's going to be a while before she's actually in the air. Yes. So Jay and I actually delayed talking about Eden's journey for quite a while on the vlogs, purely because we didn't want the added pressure from everyone's voices <laughs> and we just kind of wanted to keep it to ourselves for as long as we could well for a long time we weren't sure if it was even possible yeah. so it was not something worth talking about all the time and yeah. even though a lot of people around the world will just be concerned sometimes the voices that we get it's too much noise yeah. you know you have to just think about what we know which is the most because yeah. we're researching this every minute of every day. Yeah. So Eden has been very lovingly looked after up till now by Jay's oldest brother and his wife and she has been absolutely perfect. We haven't worried about her at all. We know that she's been loved and just super duper looked after. Mm -hmm. Omar had been sharing some stuff on Instagram and we then started getting a lot of messages. Oh, is she coming? And we couldn't delay talking about it anymore. The reason that we wanted to kind of keep it quiet is we wanted to kind of just have her here and not have to worry about the online world as yeah. well. It's enough of a worry itself for us to have to deal with this personally yeah. and everybody's going to have an opinion about what you should and what you shouldn't do but you can't presume to know everything about no. everyone's situation. All we can really say is that this is the only choice we have. She's our family, yeah. she should be with us and everyone understands that and yes. when she's here the story will be complete <laughs> yeah. and we won't have to worry anymore. Yes, so Eden's been our dog for 11 years. We've had her and we just couldn't continue with without her here with us. You know, she's been everywhere with us. We took her to Thailand, so she's she's flown before yeah. and she's been absolutely fine. So we're hoping that it will be the same this time round. Yeah. Also, we strongly feel that because Eden is our dog, she's our responsibility, even though we are many miles away, putting a dog on another person when they didn't ask for it or want for it is a big ask, no matter how much they like looking after her. Eden still isn't their dog and we can't, we, we know that and we feel yeah. that and we want her with us. The reason we took her to Thailand with us in the first place was because we wanted to exercise our responsibility as her parents, you know. We just got Eden a few years before and then we were going to move country and even back then she was seven years old and yes. everyone was saying, you can't travel <laughs> with a dog when she's seven, you can't yeah. do this, you can't do that and we were like, well maybe we should be the judge of what you can and you can't do. Yeah. And we had so many experiences with her yes. and she's used to the travel now. If there's any dog in the world that's going to be able to handle this trip, it's going to be Eden. <laughs> we do think of Eden as a child. She was our first baby she was our first responsibility together and she's still here you know we can't just ignore the facts and if she was a child would we leave her in London of no. course we wouldn't so that is why we're going ahead with the process she's flying today and we are so excited to have her with us hey hi <laughs> got a present for Eden yeah, yeah. 
Oh, oh, is it you? No, we've got a present for Eden on, uh, under the sofa. Okay, do you want to show us what it is? Eden, do you want to see it? Oh, we've got to show Eden. Go on then. I'm going to show Eden in the camera. Okay. Go on then. Oh, show me. <laughs> look, look at this present for Eden. It's a cool bed. <laughs> so, uh, I just got... Excuse me. Excuse me, Eden. Yeah. So that's why. That's why I just want to show you something. I hope you'll love this. We got her some cute little puppy chips. Doggy food. Doggy chips. Doggy chips. And some treats, haven't we? We've got yeah. some treats there. Yeah, Eden loves dentist sticks, doesn't she? Yeah, these are her favourite food. Yeah, and we've got a nice red bowl. A nice red bowl for her because she will love this. <laughs> yeah, I just want to take her to the rock pool. Yeah, I'm going to swim with her in the sea. I just uh, like to show you something. You never saw this before. It is these beautiful flowers that I crusted. Yeah, I like them a lot. So, Daddy likes his drone thing. Likes his drone control. And this is his batteries. And these are Mum's glasses. So she always le lets them to go on her eyes. Right, what are you showing us now? I'm showing you mm. one little kitty cat. I got two kitties. They're very cute. And this one's a new one. That's the one you got today, isn't it? In your advent bag. Yes. And speaking of advent, you need to open your chocolate one, don't you, for Nanny? Come on, then. I can show you my chocolate. Oh, you've got to find the number. A magic trick. Watch my magic trick. Okay, you got a little Guys. trick to opening your advent, haven't you? Watch Eden. <laughs> wow. See? Yeah, very good. Easy peasy. It's a rocking chair. A rocking chair, yeah. is it? Oh no, it's a rocking horse, I think. I think so. Dad, <laughs> is this a rocking horse? Yes. <laughs> she needs a second opinion. <laughs> Was it a rocking horse? Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> So I just got an email confirming when Eden is going to be coming into Butuan. So I am off now to Dapa to see if I can get a boat ticket for the right time. I've already booked a driver, he's ready to go. It's all falling into place now and every little step that we get done feels a little bit less anxiety, a little bit less stress on our shoulders. I can feel the plan coming together. Usually we just book boat tickets online but because the online boat tickets are only covering the fast boats it looks like there's no boats available but actually they have the slow boats available and you have to do them at the ticket office so instead of the usual one and a half hour journey that we're used to it's going to take three hours but as long as the boat is leaving earlier we should have enough time to grab the van transport and get to the airport before Eden arrives at 11 o'clock in the morning. We've still got a few days to wait because there's domestic permits that need to be fulfilled but we're closer now to getting our family back together than ever. Just a peek there, casually crossing the road. <laughs> That's how you know you're in the Philippines. Just arrived at the JRS building, pick up a package. Let's see what surprises await us in there today. All right, let's go get these tickets. This is gonna be a struggle. I've just parked up and all of the ticketing offices are closed. Now I was told by the ticketing office themselves that they would be open today for inquiries, but there's no one here. It's all locked up, padlocks and everything. There are a shed load of papers all over the ticket office window with contradicting information about what you need to go over there and come back. And some of these pieces of paper look like they've been up since like three or four months ago and they've just not taken them down. So. I can't rely on any of the information I'm looking at here. It really does show this is why the world moved on to e-commerce and booking things online. Because I could have found out all of this information from home without having to drive an hour to find out I can't buy a ticket. <laughs> so frustrating. I've just seen the Montenegro shipping line has opened up. So I'm gonna go over there and see if they've got tickets. <laughs> All right, I'm done with this. I'm going home. So 
so I've just had a little bit of a decompression session, listen to some music, and just drive, clear my head. So basically I just found out I can book a ticket, but I can't book a ticket in advance. I have to be there the day before and then hope for the best that they have some tickets available. So I just need to be like the first guy on the door at two o'clock in the afternoon on Friday when they open. And then I should be able to have my passage cleared for the day that Eden gets here, possibly. So I don't know the exact day that Eden's gonna arrive and I don't know if I can even get a ticket for that day or the next. So it's all gonna be gambles, gambles. Well, look at you, you're already diving into that package. Yeah? yeah? What have you found in there? It's a one. Oh, it smells amazing. Look at this one, Mum. Ooh, no. nice. One each. What are they? Soap. Yeah? I think they're soap. <laughs> <laughs> Which is your favourite one? This rainbow one. Yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you're stacking them up like building blocks already. So first we're going to start with pink. Yeah. Then what are you going to do? And after we're going to do rainbow after. Oh, I see. And now we're going to do this one. Oh, you're just going to build them up, yeah? Yeah. Make a little now soap this house. One. Oh. Good balancing. Oh. Take your time. Now that one. That one. Wow. And another pink on the floor. Oops. Take your time. A pink. And there. Oops, slowly. Wow. Now we're going to do rainbow. That's definitely going to fall off. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> Good try. What do you think's in there? I don't know. No clue. It's oh. I see something. Mm. I think we need to open it again inside it. What could it be? Oh wow! Oh, oh these are earrings for mummy. Yeah, that's oh. rainbow ones. Oh, they're like square patterns. Can I see them? And they wear them now, Mum. Open these. Open. Right, Story has got this new obsession with taking pictures on our phones. So she's going to go off and do some photography. Yeah? What's the first thing you've got in mind? Oh, a lovely Christmas tree. <laughs> oh, nice composition. Well done. It's Eden standing on it. Did you just find a picture of Eden? Hey, look. Mm. She's standing on it. <laughs> She's sitting on a, on a flag. Oh, uh, is she real? Yeah, it's a real picture of Eden. Oh, another one. See? She's okay. <laughs> yeah. That was her just before she got on the aeroplane to come Aww. and see us. Oh, that's mummy's lovely hair. <laughs> I really miss her. Who do you miss? I miss Popotty. Oh, there's a picture of Popo in there. Oh, look. Yeah. On the subject of Eden, we have been getting regular updates and the company that is going to be handling this side of the logistics when she arrives in the country has told us oh, that sure. the latest we can expect to receive her will be in about, what, four days? Four days, yeah. Once she arrives in Manila, she gets handed over to the Filipino side of the transit it's a minimum of two days isn't it that she has to wait for the domestic permit door to door when she leaves london to actually getting to us will be four days we hope fingers crossed that is the best case scenario they have reassured us though that whatever happens it will be before the holidays because obviously that would be a problem if it wasn't but we are optimistic that everything is going well all of the people involved are on the ball and i'm feeling quite confident Yes, we're, we've just got in contact on, via Instagram with the other logistics company. So we've got lots of different means to contact them and they're going to keep us updated on her journey and hopefully we'll be getting some pictures of her mm. as she goes along. So yeah. I do feel a little bit better than I did yesterday. It was quite nerve wracking yesterday because we didn't know when she was actually going to be leaving mm. London. It was all just a bit uncertain yesterday, but today We've had some more information and yeah, things are in motion. Story's having a little popsicle for dessert. And Sash just had a very clever idea to use the carrot pulp from the juicer as the carrot that we would use normally in our chili dish. Yes. So using the pulper like this is actually a brilliant idea. And you get a carrot juice out of it too. Popsicles are fun, fun to eat. They are fun to eat, yeah. 
So this has turned into a very Eden-centered vlog today. So I'm gonna talk about Eden again. <laughs> and that is to just say that we are going through this process to bring Eden to us because it was never, ever our intention to leave Eden behind. And it's it was a mistake that shouldn't have happened. We mm. shouldn't have got locked down here. And we have taken the first opportunity that we could to get Eden here with us. Had things gone to plan and we did decide to move to the Philippines, then Eden would have been coming with us. We would have all come out here together as a family. We have never had any thoughts to rehome Eden. Mm. So that is why we're going to all this trouble to have her with us because we never wanted to be apart from her in the first place mm. so also this is the first opportunity that's presented itself because throughout the course of this year we've had all of these lockdowns and we've had all of these travel restrictions yeah. pets weren't allowed to move you yeah. know for the first six months of the lockdown yes then all of a sudden there was this window of time where we have this opportunity so yeah. in our heads we're thinking if we've got the means to do so why would we not want to do this yeah and this has been an ongoing process for about three months now mm. that we've been actively trying to get here with us and we've researched lots of different companies we emailed lots of companies and a lot of them said it wasn't possible due to the pandemic and we have got a way to get ahead here now so we're going with it ultimately something we always say to each other is if Eden was a human would we not be doing everything in our power to make sure she was with us of course we would <laughs> you know and we think of her in that way <laughs> even though we've got this little oh. human here <laughs> a heavy little human now aren't you, you yeah I, I I just want, want to, to say to say Eden I just forgot forgot to bring one of to bring my, my big bad mouse and my penguin with me. Oh, so you want Eden to bring it? Oh, Well actually, your big bad mouse and your penguin, two of Story's soft toys that she used to love, they are in the Portugal box, which is very nearly here. Mm. As well as Eden, we're also waiting on our delivery of our five massive boxes being shipped from Portugal. They are maybe a week away, so I think everything's all gonna arrive at once. <laughs> yeah. Every time we tick off one of these tasks, we feel like we're less anxious, less stressed, and more at home. And that is the ultimate goal here, to be happy in place and to have the whole family together. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm very excited to share Eden's adventures <laughs> when she arrives here in the Philippines. Yeah. And we will see you in the next one. See ya. Bye. Bye, Bye everybody. We have our little bunnies and all the little leaves.